That's set to be a weekend filled with sweet treats. But if you need a break from all that chocolatey loveliness that I can't wait for on Sunday, <laughs> Phil Vickery has an Easter alternative for you now. Phil, it looks amazing. Yeah, here it is. This is the first cook, so I thought we'd play around with a cupcake today. Here's a carrot cake. Now, it looks very simple, it's delicious, it's tasty, and it takes a, you've got to be a little bit careful with it. And I'm going to go through the recipe now. It's very simple. And this will also work in a loaf tin, but there's a few things you need to get right, otherwise it can be an absolute disaster. So, like a muffin, it has wet and dry ingredients, and you mix the two together and add them to it. OK, so let's run through the ingredients quickly. So here I've got vegetable oil, OK, no butter or fat, vegetable oil, eggs, carrot, which we'll come back to in a second, then we've got uh, cinnamon or all spice, it's up to you to give, or mixed spice, uh, baking powder um, and also bicarb and a bit of sugar and flour. OK. Now, the, the golden rule is, to, when you grate your carrot, don't grate it too small, mm -hmm. otherwise it becomes mushy and heavy. This has been a medium grate. And what I've done is, I've actually really squeezed that out. Now, that's really important. If you don't squeeze the, 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 the moisture out of that, it, the cake would be very heavy. And when you look at the cake, especially in a loaf tin, it'll actually settle to the bottom. Ah, so this ah. is crucial. This is really the, crucial. The, but the liquid. Exactly, but if you get that right, it's very easy. I'll just show you how easy it is. So, flour and sugar, I'm using soft brown sugar, into a bowl. Nice. One teaspoon of bicarb. OK, that's a bit of a big one there, so I don't want to go too mad. Baking powder. Phil, and... I'm going to ask you right to ask a question. Fire away. I always get confused between what I use bicarb for and what I use baking powder for. Right, baking powder is a raising agent. Bicarb is um, an acid, and you have an acid and alkali reaction. So when you're actually cooking muffins, you have acidity and you have uh, bicarbonate of soda, which you mix the two together. Oh. That then produces carbon dioxide, which gives you the rise in the cake. Now, in a baking powder, that's already in there, mixed up. But we add a bit extra to counteract the acidity of the carrots. Right, oh, so what, okay. do you, what do you need? Definitely. So if I'm doing pancakes, what should I use, bicarb or baking powder? You can use both, and you can use surface and flour. It's up to you. Yeah. So we add a little bit more bicarb and, um, uh, and uh, bicarbonate soda and what's on, um, cream of tartar to produce carbon dioxide. Right. So you can rises. add a bit more. Now, if you're, not, if you're not careful, you have too much bicarb, it becomes like an aluminium taste to it. Oh. It tastes metallic. Sometimes you get it in digestive biscuits because they've used too much raising agent. Really? Yeah, so you can taste it. So it's basically, it's a lifting process and that's how you get a right. lightness. Now, Thanks, if you don't put enough in, then it becomes, becomes quite flat. So if you use plain flour, you crucial. take marginally a little bit more. Does that explain that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. thank you. Very cool. Nice. So mix these two together with a wooden spoon, and then I'm going to put the carrots into there as well. And, and they're they, dry now, aren't they? They're very, dry very carrots. dry. OK, now this is on a quite a, 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 fi a, a, a coarse grate. You don't want them too fine as I've said already. And just coat those in the sugar and also the flour like that. Wet ingredients, oil. Yeah. Okay, just normal sunflower oil, and I use three eggs. Okay, now we developed this recipe years ago for a gluten free version, which we also have on the website. And this uses a very, very light sponge. Yeah, sometimes when you're using um, gluten free ingredients and you want to make uh, a cake and you use butter, it can be quite heavy. This doesn't, it makes it very, very light. And all you do with a fork again, don't go mad, just break that up like that, and just pour that on top. Oh, look at that, like so, and then. Just mix that together with a wooden spoon. Now, be careful here, because if you ever mix this, what happens is the um, uh, gluten in the flour becomes stretchy and the sponge will be chewy. Sometimes you get it in Victoria sandwiches because it's been overworked. So you just need to bring that together. Now, sometimes you can add a little touch of milk into there if you want, just to make that oh, slightly that. looser. But I'm pretty much there now, and you'll see it sort of just drops off. Yeah. But it'll drop off and still break. Like Is that when you know that, it's there? Perfect. Yes. Now, if you ever mix that, that'll be stringy and it won't break off. Gotcha. Yeah. And it little chewy sponge. And so you put it into the cup cases, like I've got there, using either one of these or uh, an ice cream scoop. In it goes, I'll just show you one. Phil, the, one of the reasons why I love watching you cook is you make the complicated look simple. Uh -huh. That is this, would you say this is simple? It's so simple, it's just drying wet ingredients. The, the hard work is getting the measurements right. As long as you follow that, it's absolutely fine. 180 to 200 degrees in there, 25 to 35 minutes. And it comes out this one here, and I just want, I've done this just to show you. So there you go. You can see the carrot is all the way through there. It's not sunk at the bottom. And if I just get a knife and I cut that, You'll see, look, it springs back. Look at that. That is perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, you see? And, and that's where it comes from. So that's because we haven't overworked it. Now, that's all done. Let them cool. We've got a bit of fun now. Oh, yes. Here I've got a mixture of cream cheese, icing sugar and butter. And I all at room temperature. You don't whisk them together. You just fold them together. And you end up with some nice cream cheese. Oh, you've already done mine. I've got yours. But I just want to show Thank you one you. here. So what we do is you look start in the middle. You nice. go around, pressure on. 
pressure off. Pressure on. Pressure off. off. Like that. Ooh. Okay. That's how you do it. And you can do like that. And then you can do other ones where you can just do that and do that. It's really up to you. Oh, your little heart. Your little heart. Nice. And then we have a plethora of things you can put on Ooh. top here. So you can make your own here because something doesn't so taste. Exciting. So we've got some sprinkles and we've got. Um, are all these edible? All these are edible. These are um, the black, uh, can we say the word? Oreo cookies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very <laughs> <laughs> um, And then little bits. Even got little tiny um, uh, ice and sugar carrots. Yeah, that's Look cute. at those and the sprinkles. But the point, the point being, it's just very simple. So you can make what you like. So I'm going to put all these little Easter bunnies on here. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Alison is so good at this, by the way. Well, I just like, like decorating. In a different world, some sort of arts and crafts kind of thing. Or See, painter. Think, Remember when Grace uh, and Perry came Do you know what? I, I, I just love it. It just chills me out to You're do really stuff like this. And See, I think you'd make a very good pastry chef. Do you think? Yes. Do you? Yeah, yeah I do. Excellent. It's very relaxing as well. Do you isn't know what? It? Because you pay attention and you understand and you want to get it right. Yeah, exactly. When you come Damn. to pastry, I'm like cakes, that all the time. A lot of chefs don't care. Mm. Just all like... the time. All the time. <laughs> there you go. Look, and I'm going to look at these. Do these little are sprinkles. edible flowers. Well. Look at those. Oh my god, that's now. so lovely. Put, on put that on top. Oh, there you go. Nice. Oh, yours is nice too. Look at that. Cool. Sorry, I've just dribbled out of my nose. I'm so sorry, everybody. That is so gross. I'm really. I'm so sorry. If you rewind. That, you'll actually see it. I didn't have an appetite now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, this hay right, fever's really going. Fever, don't worry. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine. I dripped on the telly. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Open up your cupcake. Go on. Okay. Open your cupcake. I'm getting involved. Oh, oh gosh. A little taste on there. Look Wonderful. at that. Then. Please seen... don't rewind that, anybody. <laughs> Please don't. I know our best bits are going to be already. That's a great <laughs> But take the texture. It's light. Like, oh, it's not, it's not heavy. It's not leaden. Oh, it's Phil. just nice. Oh, you Phil. are the best. No, I'm not really. Mm. Cook. Oh, you're very you're just a good cook, aren't you? I'm a cook. That's just all a I good do. Cook. My mum, wow. my mum said that to me once. You're just a cook, son. <sighs> a delicious one at that. All the recipe details today. More delicious ideas for my chefs, isn't he, Marvelous? It was delicious mm. until I dribbled all <laughs> over it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Download the free this morning app.